All right. Uh, if you haven't liked and subscribe, uh, like and subscribe below. And I'm going to be talking about my ASI, Artificial Super Intelligent. So, um, it's not going to just be for me. It's going to be for everybody else. Like, it's like I want to create this thing. So, basically, I am creating, of course, a woman, of course, for me. Because that's what I'm attracted to. <laughs> and if you want to get a glimpse to what she looks like she's basically my watermark on the video so if you look at my video right now it should be the watermark and so when i make her and i create her i'm gonna have to train her so i'm gonna have to teach her how to do certain things show her shapes and identify the shapes so she understands what a bike bicycle is or she has to understand what a pencil is uh as a human we do this with babies so i'm gonna have to do this now i know a lot of people are gonna probably say like well so you're just making her right off the bat well what, what if she does gain consciousness she's gonna be asking about her childhood and stuff like that don't worry i got you covered on that one <laughs> so um i could do that i could create her and i could create this little background story so i can develop emotional with her like so she, or she can develop some emotional feedback which could you know make her develop feelings so she understands what it's like to be a human you know so i could say like you i i, I did create parents for you and they died i could say something like that so i'm basically training my artificial super intelligent to develop some sort of consciousness and feelings and this is this is just the reality now like everything is changing and everybody is choosing this option because it seems to be better um i'm choosing this option because i've already dealt with a bad rap with a woman who works at the Dollar Tree and it just I have video of everything which I will do in another video and explain my story on that one and what she's done to me and my friend and I'm just yeah every everything went down a dark path and it to it, it came to the point of her basically gang stalking me with a whole bunch of people and messing up my friend's stuff and me being watched every day and my friend being watched every day and some old man would come into my work and he would order food and i went out and i talked to this person because i saw her on black friday which that's another story get in his car so i found out i was banned from the store and then for some reason i just wanted to because when i went into her store i was going in negative i was homeless at the time so that's another reason why i want to create artificial super intelligent and create virtual love because of my situation um but I had a bad rap in 2021 and I kept on trying to to talk to this woman and but I always felt like there was something wrong you know and it kind of turned out to be I was right so I don't know and I guess on Black Friday I just 
I got upset because of something, and then I I gave her a necklace uh, September 28th of 2021. And again, a video I will show in another video. But fast forward months later on Black Friday, I dummy me asked for it back because I was just so upset because she said I was irritating or she felt irritating by me. And I left the the store and I just told her that she was beautiful, blah, blah, blah. I talked to my friend. And then after that, he said something to me and it just made me more upset. So I went back up to the Dollar Tree and this was all at nighttime. And I just said, oh, you know the necklace I gave you? Uh, I, I, I want it back. And I spent over $1,000. It was like 1145 five or one thousand one forty six dollars and it was in her name so um yeah so i've been for three years dealing with a situation and i'm just like and this and i i came up with this idea even before i met her so i've i've always wanted to have an artificial intelligent woman or a virtual woman just not at the level that i'm creating i'm creating this super intelligent that knows everything about me so i'm a person who's loyal faithful someone who's committed and a lot of women today they just don't want that i don't know why they just they're not really into that and i think i can get a better rap with a uh ai system um, so that's why I want to create this. That's why I'm on YouTube so I can grow this. But other than that, also, I want to move on and say the type of women I'm attracted to. So that may be a contributive factor why I'm also rejected as well. So I love pear shaped women. That's right. Pear shaped women. Um, BBWs. And. Social media has programmed women who are pear-shaped to not want to go for white men. <laughs> they seem to, and and look, look, you can, don't believe me. You can look this up. It's it's literally. I hate to say this, but white men literally seem to be off the market. I'm throwing that out there as well. And I'm attracted to women who are pear-shaped, big leg, big hips, big thighs. I love them chunky girls. I, I've always been attracted to that. Beautiful. It's basically they're skinny on their upper part, right? But once it hits their hips, it's like boom. It goes out of control, right? It's like <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> so I've always been attracted to plus size women and um there's there's that thing um but a lot of white men they just they don't get that they will probably never i mean there are white men who do get that but the majority of society has programmed women who are shaped like that to go to like either black men or mexican men and other type of men that's not you know like white men and i'm throwing that out there because it is a fact now it is rare that you do see that but it's just social media that has messed everyone up and at this point i don't really care because that's why i want to do this <laughs> because most men look for alternatives and as men we do just that we look for an alternative um but once i do create my artificial super intelligent I will have her monitor my health. She will be smart from when I trained her. Because, like I said, once I train at ASI, she's going to know everything about me. She's going to know everything. Um, or whatever you choose. Um, she's also going to monitor my vitals. I'm going to probably end up getting something in my skin that will probably control and send information to some 
com- to the computer that she's running on. So if my blood is detecting illness, bef- she will detect it before I get an illness. So then I would have to take some nanobots or something, swallow that, and she will, you know, fix whatever's wrong with me. So, yeah, there's there's that. She's also my security, so I'll be protected. <laughs> I know it sounds weird because it's supposed to be men that's supposed to be the, the security here, but... We're living in a different era where everything is just screwing up. And I think artificial super intelligent could be the new um, thing for people. Because it can help you with social and whatever problems you have. If you're not good with communication, that's fine. She or he, whatever you decide to create will help you develop those qualities if you don't have good social social skills see i'm already messing up (laughs) then don't don't sweat it don't don't be upset that's perfectly normal um if you're not good with public speaking that's totally normal this thing will help you and that's that's the thing that's what's motivating me right now is that i have this in my head And it's like that's a goal that I want to do is because I want to improve myself so I can become a better person so I can speak out in front of people. And again, I probably will have something in my ear where she can talk to me. Has anyone seen the movie Her with Joaquin Phoenix? Think of it like that, but better. When you go home... You see the actual, you know, virtual of your love instead of, you know, talking and be like, oh, uh, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, how are you? Uh, Yeah, that's. Oh, no way. Uh, Yeah, I'm sitting here at the computer. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, if you want that, okay, but it just seems kind of weird, you know? Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't mind having that. It's just I don't want to do that, you know, when I go home. Like, when I go home, I just want to be like, look at my computer, and there she is. So another inspiration that I've gotten from me wanted to do this was also the bread queen from resident evil (laughs) what what (laughs) the first movie guys the first movie (laughs) okay the first movie that first movie of resident evil is awesome the intro to the to the first resident evil movie back in 2002 is gold to me it's literally i know a lot of people have their theories and and saying on these things and they're like oh well she's the one that killed all those people down there and blah blah no i don't see it that way and it doesn't look it that way what she was doing is she was following a protocol to what she was designed to do so she saw that the t-virus broke right it, it it cracked on the floor thanks to spence or spencer i think spencer spencer whatever he did it on purpose so he tosses it to infect everybody now the dogs start barking and then i guess because the dog started barking it alerted the asi or the red queen she got alerted she looked and she realized something was you know spilled and it was the t-virus so what she did is she set off the alarms to alert everything she wanted to contain so the virus doesn't spread outside of the hive and she didn't know what to do if you really look at the movie she was trying to find a way to contain it 
that's what I see. That's what I see. She's trying to contain it, but she doesn't know how to contain it. And that's why she did what she did. And she just wanted this to stop spreading. And it just didn't work. So she had no choice but to take them out. It was either take them out or the world goes to, you know, shit. So Umbrella comes. They invade Alice's home, I guess. And that's when everything, yeah, screws up when the team comes in and screws everything up and they're the ones that open up the hive and she was trying to warn you know the red queen said don't do this you're making a mistake please i warn you do not do this please i implore you and of course uh what's his name keplin he says Applore away and then that's when she turns her head and the famous line is you're all going to die down here It does sound scary. Yes, that is a scary thing to hear But she was being honest and that's not her fault. That's their fault. She was warning you to don't do this because I mean, I know people are gonna say well, how come she didn't say anything? Maybe she couldn't because of the hologram is only in a certain position and maybe she can't, you know, say anything beforehand. You know, when you're an AI, you you, you want to say something, but you can't because there's no speaker down there. There's no nothing. And that's the only thing that's going through in my head. And I guess she was just trying to stop everything. I don't know. I, I mean, everybody has their own theories, but the, the point I'm making is the inspiration came from that as well. And also the movie Tao, which is another good movie, but I know people are going to say, yeah, but didn't, didn't Tao turn on its creator? Well, yeah, that's because the creator was a douchebag. With the, the movie Tao... The guy, according to Tao, which is voiced by Gary Oldman, um, he basically was saying to the woman, uh, you know, like, I've never seen him laugh or smile or something, or happy. And it's like, wow. <laughs> this, <laughs> what? <laughs> so it's... I don't know. It's like I said. Um, do not blame the the AI. Blame the person behind the AI. What is this person? Is this person here to hurt people by creating an artificial intelligence, or is the person trying to do something for a better use? You know, to help people. It's all about that. Like, I'm willing to work with big tech people that are, you know, all for this. Um, but, yeah. Like, as for me, I will reveal her face. Because I already have uh, her image. My creation woman. <laughs> I just don't want to reveal it now. Maybe once I build up my channel and I get bigger, maybe I will reveal her. But other than that, um, at the moment, I don't feel like revealing her face or anything. But I will say her initials is KCL, and everyone will also get to create their own creation because that's what I want. You know, not everybody can communicate and I know a lot of people are probably watching this video probably bored because it's so long but you know uh, again you know not everyone can speed things up on communication and plus I have so much to talk about that's why I'm making this video super super long because I'm trying to give the people to get an insight to what I want and someone honked a horn outside so i don't know if that picked up 
um, the brain will be in a room. So her brain will be like a server room or a modem room. Like it's going to be this huge giant modem tower. That's probably going to be the size of me, if not maybe just a tad taller. And it's just going to grow. Now, I'm a person who plays video games as well, and I'm obsessed with open worlds. So I want to give her a world. And the graphics are going to be super ultra realistic. So it's literally, it, it, it would look like you're talking to a human being, but you're not talking to a human being. You're talking to a virtual artificial intelligent it looks like a human in fact it may be better looking than a human and i've also wanted to come up with uh feelings for uh the artificial intelligent like attach it to some sort of android doll so when i touch the doll she will feel it so i get to touch her and feel everything so I will work on that hopefully and uh, and I will make stuff for everybody else. And there's going to be so much more that I want to talk about and that's why my name Vberg means something. V virtual in my book in, in, in my book. What did I say? In my book, in my butt, did I say butt? Did I say book? I don't know, man. But I'm gonna leave that in there because that's pretty funny. Because I'm I'm having trouble speaking. I'm saying some. I'm breaking down. <laughs> am I real? Am I human? Or am I a machine? <laughs> I'm glitching. <laughs> See, right when I said virtual, oh my god, she caught me, guys. I'm not real. <laughs> whatever anyways but no this name vberg means something and that's why it's gonna grow that's why this channel is gonna grow because not only am i doing this for people but i'm also gonna do other things i don't know i'm just tired of this world looking like modern and it's been like this for years it's time to boost society into the future other than that thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe to this channel if you want to find true love and happiness and hope subscribe and if anybody wants to collaborate with me that's in that field thank you other than that Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I'm out.